Coin Ops 2 Gems Collection is here. Introduction videos, new themes, new settings, new categories, new look, new feel, uh, easier than ever before. Um, you thought it couldn't get better, it has. This thing is a thing of beauty, and as you know, I've been checking out a couple different builds running on Retro FE, and this just continues that evolution of beautiful emulation, whether you're putting it in an arcade cabinet, playing it right off your PC, many options as far as applications go here, but it just gets prettier and more user-friendly than ever before, and you have to check this one out. Let's go ahead and dive a little deeper. The six categories on the left of your screen are old school, retro shooters, run and gun, beat em ups, shoot em ups, and fight club. Now there should be a settings. Okay, there you go. If you do one further down, it's, it's that's cool that they kind of hide it. It's not one of those six icons on the right. And then you have a shutdown, background music, Oh, see, oh, cool. So these are, I don't even have to go from the outside. A couple of different themes, blue and dark, and then the one we're on right now, which I think is Spectrum. So as far as game collection, this is just kind of the preview. It's not huge. As you can see here, there's maybe about 20 games in the old school category, but some of the better, more classic games for sure. Then you have some shooters, a lot of classics here, Galaga, and each one has a um, video snap, and I don't know if you saw that, but the lo the this logo right here, when you click the game, it kind of uh, pulses, it kind of zooms in uh, to the screen, and then uh, all the vertical games are set up correctly, so, you know, it's the bezels snap to the uh, aspect ratio of the games. And you'll see that I play with a few different um, of the shaders. Pretty much just scan lines on and glass effect on for all this um, video. But you can absolutely take glass effect off and take scan lines off if you just want like more of a normal uh, gaming experience with no you know visual add-ons. And then also, don't forget you have all those additional uh, editing files in your um, in your main folder over there. Uh, I believe it's in the advanced settings, and you can run those batch files and then reload your um, coin ops, and then you can get to, did I show you all those ones? Yeah, we got through all those ones. And then here we go. I'll go backwards on this one. Um, Raiden, great game. Um, so kind of just the best of the best. It's a small build. I think this whole image is is about eight gigabytes, seven or eight gigabytes. It's nothing. Um, so and then last but not least, Fight Club, Marvel Superheroes, Marvel Superheroes are Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat Two, Street Fighter One, Two, and Two Turbo, Alpha, Alpha Three, Third Strike. Okay, I was like, yeah, you're missing some Mortal Kombat's, but there you go, Ultimate Mortal Kombat. Good to see that there and we're back. And then lastly, if you hit down one more time, you get to this last area. I'm glad um, you know this is still here because a lot of people are running this on a on an arcade cabinet or something like that, so you don't have a keyboard to press escape or you don't wanna have to like go to any options. So they do have a help file now with your hotkeys on it, very cool. Um, and a little bit of inspiration, and that's it. So you have theme blue. Imagine this resets the emulator or, you know, coin ops, the front end. All right, so here's this one. Looks very similar. I like how it glows. The glowing is cool. And then you go right to left to change your... Oh, I see what's blue, that the back... See that blue behind all these games? That's blue. Okay. Okay, cool, yeah. So, as you see, it's kind of more of a rainbow effect, a spectrum, if you will, red and blue and pink. That looks really cool. And then we have theme fast. The fast theme, let's see how fast, it's fast, really fast, the Lamborghini theme. Oh, it is really fast, yeah. 
I guess this is just most optimized. As, as you see, look, I mean, it's just, it's got the least amount of effects. So I might recommend this theme for somebody running on a not as fast computer. You know, maybe if your computer's not as hefty. And then we have the dark theme. It's a little dark. I like it a little brighter. I guess it depends on the lighting in your room and everything. But you know, as you see, I do like the, the really small black lines though. That's really cool. The black lines are really cool. I think I'm gonna go with Spectrum, keep it colorful. Okay, we gotta unzip first, so let's do that. We did a fresh unzip, and here we go, we got coin ops. And we, so there's a readme file. There's some really good information about controls and unlocking the controller file if you wanna edit your controls, if you wanna add a PlayStation 3 controller or light gun support. There's also, as far as if you wanna get into the main configuration, you wanna hit the two thumbs, the analog one and analog two thumbs at the same time. There's also your default controls. What what is required while you're um, 
in the front end itself, not while in a game. Well, I guess some of these are within the game, but pr primarily um, in the front end itself. Some things to optimize it, so that if the scan lines are lagging your computer a little bit, how to optimize that. And then this part's really cool. It tells you about what each bezel does. And that's something really cool about CoinOps is these really easy to use dot bat files, which you just double click them and all of a sudden you have all new looks on your system. Some people don't like bezels, some people like bezels. So easy turn off, easy turn on, easy switching. So right off the bat, what I noticed is in advanced configs, you've got a lot more options here. You have it, you know, a, a simple script to change your FPS from 30 to 60, to change your buttons, change the theme, turn background music off, turn the intro video on or off, uh, have the overlays for NTSC versus PAL, video effects on or off, a track mode dimming, <laughs> Uh, you have different fighter bezels. You have uh, shutdown, different shutdown scripts, um, especially if you make this a cabinet. That is the other thing I want to show you. But uh, you know, to complete this, you have some screen curvature. These are your uh, bezel and um, screen and uh, bezels for both arcades and some of the other emulators. Now, fix is not working. Pretty standard stuff. Most of you have this installed on your computer already. If you first boot and nothing's working correctly, you need to install these two files, DirectX 9 and VC Redist uh, x86. Now this is really cool in helpers, especially the shelling guide right here. This is if you want to boot your computer directly into CoinOp. So if you just have like a mini PC and all it does is sits in an arcade cabinet or it sits in whatever you're using and you just want to play CoinOps, you don't want to use YouTube or anything else. Um, well, you can still use YouTube, but you just want it to, you don't want to have to like double click the desktop each time you boot up your computer. You want it to just automatically go. You can use that auto shell tutorial and basically it just shows you how to do it. There's step-by-step -step instructions and the actual program to help you do it. Have it, um, CoinOps 2. And uh, if you're wondering what's the big difference, well, huge, huge improvements in my opinion as far as um, customizability. You know, it has way more scripts and so you don't have to figure any of that stuff out on your own anymore. The visuals themselves are huge. It's looking gorgeous. Um, it even has some pre-themes that you can change on it. And uh, it's only gonna get better as you add more collections and make it your own. So real, thumbs up all around. This is awesome. CoinOps is already really winning me over. You have the core team working on packs as well. And yes, a lot of this is drag and drop. So you can take your old uh, next one collection and then throw it into the next two and it should work just no problem. So that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Two thumbs up over here.